Lisa, welcome back to my channel. I want to introduce you to a brand new club set from the Stamps of Life. This is the sunglasses to stamp and the matching dies. And this stamp set is all about sunglasses. So you can see it has large these large sunglasses and then it also has a solid fill. There is also a smaller sunglasses and also the smaller fills for those. Then we have some accent pieces, the sun, and then there's a smiley face and a mouth. And some of the sentiments on here are fun in the sun, vacay mode, happy birthday, or you can have it say happy summer because these stamp sets are all separate. So the happy, the birthday, the summer, and the vibes, they're all separate set stamps, all separate stamps. So you can have it say happy vibes, happy birthday, happy summer. You can have it say summer vibes or summer birthday, whatever you want. And then there's the candles on your cake are so bright, I had to wear my shades. And then it has all of the matching dyes. There's also a die here for the a little palm tree, a little miniature palm tree. And there's also a die here for a star. So I wanna show you real quick, when these dies are die cut, they actually come out in a few pieces. So you have your shadow layer, you can put in a different color. And then when this one, so this shadow die cuts that piece, and then this die die cuts, the actual frames come out, and, or I should say the lenses come out, and then the frame. So if you wanted to have a different color, then you have the lenses, you can do that as well. And of course, you can stamp out in a different color, because this is a completely solid stamp, and then you can die cut that out you can die cut that out with your shadow layer. So I'm gonna start out with this card by just using the dies. I went ahead and die cut um, the frame itself. So I used this piece and I die cut it out of the guava. So I got these pieces and I also die cut it out of the sea glass, which gave me these pieces. But for this card, I'm actually gonna be using the sea glass lenses. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to be using the guava frame, so I'm gonna set these guava lenses aside. And I also die cut the palm tree out of the spearmint and out of the ginger snap and the sun out of the banana. So I'm gonna start out by doing just a little bit of ink blending. So I'm gonna start with my ginger snap and really I just need to put some ink on the bottom of the tree because I'm, not gonna be using the top, I'm gonna to actually cut that off. And I also, while I have the ginger snap out, I am using a border die and I die cut a piece of the ginger snap cardstock. And this is gonna be sand. And you'll see what I'm gonna do in just a minute, but I wanna go ahead and just ink blend this up. And I'm also gonna just dab some ink on the front just to add some more texture to this. I'm gonna put some ink on the spearmint part of the palm tree, so that would be the branches. I'm gonna ink blend my sun. And I'm going to ink blend the lenses and the whole purpose of this is the lenses is gonna make it look like you're staring into the water. So this is gonna represent the ocean. And then we're gonna have some reflections on these lenses, which is obviously gonna be then the palm tree, you know, what you're looking at through your lenses and the sun with some sand, etc. So I'm gonna start out with the palm tree and I'm going to cut off and I'm just gonna do it in a diagonal to make it easiest. So I'm cutting off the bottom. And that's gonna end up going like that. So just kind of pieces together. So there's the palm tree. That'll set aside. 
And these are gonna go on these lenses. So let me just see which lens goes in which piece. So it'll be this way. And we're gonna have a sun, and we're also gonna have a little bit of sand. Let me just see what that's gonna look like. I might end up going with a darker stem just because I think that'll be hard to see on top of the ginger snap. So I'm gonna go ahead and die cut that out again using chocolate. All right, so let's cut this. We'll move this down. We'll do the chocolate for the bark of the tree. And then the sand will go right at the bottom. So I think what we'll do is we will just start by adhering this together. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue at the bottom. And then put that right there. And then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna cut this, just to trim this down. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adhering this palm tree. I'm start with the tree bark and overlap the sand just a tiny bit. Let's put an acrylic block over that just to hold that in place. And then I'm going to glue down the top. and then hold that down. Now for this one, while that's staying in place there, I'm gonna take my sand again, gonna put some glue, this time just a little bit quicker dry glue at the very bottom. Okay, go ahead and adhere that and cut this down. And then this one is gonna have the sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back of this. Some of it will hang off, which is fine, because then I'll just cut, cut it off. And then just hold those down. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just flip these over, just trim off the excess here. Same with the tree. All right, so I just quickly redid the sun because this one had a little spot on it and I couldn't get it off. So I'm just gonna set that aside. And here are my little lenses. I think that turned out so cute. So those will be able to sit right inside of these glasses. So there is this die that cuts out some of these little accent pieces and I am just gonna go ahead and take up some of these. I did put double-sided adhesive on the back and I'm going to put them here on the side of my sunglasses. Okay. So those will just add some nice little accents. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a shadow layer with black. And I probably should have die cut this out with um, double-sided adhesive on the back, but I did not. So I am gonna go ahead and just glue this down. All right, and that's gonna, look how pretty that guava is with the black. I think that makes it stand out really nicely. And then these pieces will go right on the inside. Oh my gosh, that is so cute, look at that. So let me go ahead and put some glue on the back of this. Oh my gosh. I love those. Look how cute those sunglasses are. It's like you're staring out and look what you're looking. You'll get the palm trees and the sun. So I went ahead and cut some cardstock down. I have a guava card base. This is the A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of the licorice, which is gonna go on top of that, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I did cut this piece of pattern paper by four and five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of licorice, which measures two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And then this pattern paper, I cut with a stitched rectangle die. And these papers, I just wanna show you the paper pad. It's from the Thanks So Much collection. 
And I'm going to start out by taking this piece and I am going to stamp up this piece of paper. So I'm going to put this in my Misty. Just put that down. And I'm going to use the stamp set and I'm going to do a Happy Summer. And it's going to be at the very bottom. I'm going to take my Licorice Stamps of Life ink. Did that move? Okay, let's go ahead and ink up that stamp. And stamp that down. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start adhering everything down. some of this twine and I'm just going to wrap it around and then I'm just going to tie under so wrap it under isn't that cute and just snip it off I'm just going to pull that real tight So last thing, I'm just going to add some of these black epoxy dots just in opposite corners. I'm just going to do the two. I thought about putting them in all four corners, but I'm just going to do the two. And that completes this card. I think it turned out super cute. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Bye-bye.